I've been gay full time for 10 years now. Full time, yes. Putting in real gay hours, you know? Some of us is just being gay on the weekends and that shit don't count, you know what I mean? You gotta really do the work. I have a lot of friends that are like in their 30s that come up to me and they're like, oh, I think I'm a lesbian now. I think I'm a lesbian. It's like you had a lemon drop shot and you kissed your friend. That is not a lesbian. You were lit, bitch. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at labia with the sun on, okay? That is a lesbian. <laughs> Look at all the straight dudes. They're like, labia, is that a new shoe? Like, y'all don't even know what the fuck you getting into. They asking Syria right now. Labia, L-A-Y. They're spelling it with a Y. And y'all hoes still gonna fuck them, so who cares, right? So yeah, I'm, I'm doing this, uh, this gay thing. It's great. I, uh, I ended up meeting my soulmate in the pandemic. Yeah. Anybody else tricking people? Oh my God, she didn't know who the fuck she was dealing with. Listen, we were doing long distance and I was on FaceTime and I was showing her the only good corner in my house. She didn't know, she didn't know it was a fucking mess. And so we were doing it like, you know, FaceTiming for a year and a half and after that, she was like, I think we should move in together. And I was like, got him, you know what I mean? I was like, she don't know that a hoarder is about to come all the way to LA. She's my soulmate. She's definitely my soulmate. Uh, I manifested her. I wrote down everything I wanted Woo! in a soulmate. Are y'all doing that? Yes. Are we doing that? Or do you have bad penmanship? Why y'all not writing shit down? <laughs> Write it down. Put it in the notes app. You gotta manifest this shit. What do y'all want in a soulmate? We are just gonna scan the room. What do you want? Money. Yell it out loud. Money? Yes, my black sister. Thank you. <laughs> Every time I ask somebody, it'll be a white woman like, Honesty, boo, that, that is not gonna get you a house on the hills, okay? It's just not happening. I wrote down, I was like, hey, my soulmate, I want them to be hot, successful, three bedroom apartment, washer, dryer, printer, okay? You want somebody to tell the truth, I wanna print whenever the fuck I want, and that's what I do, okay? That's what I do, I print, I print all day, She's got ink on ice, okay? Ink on ice, family value of ink. We open a closet, it's ink and paper. It's beautiful. I'm getting so wet talking about this ink situation. So y'all can't even resonate. Y'all probably one of those people I come to your house and I'm like, can I print something? You're like, ooh, how many pages? Ooh, you broke, you broke, poor bitch. Ew, ew. Did you really say I have to print double side? Oh, I gotta get out of the ghetto. I gotta go. I gotta go. I can't do this. This is not for me. You see how I look? I can't be doing this. I gotta go. Double-sided? Oh, that's disgusting. We are doing so well with our printer, okay? You got scripts? Y'all got scripts in here? We will print them in lime green. That's how well we're doing. We got black and color, all right? See, y'all hating now. Y'all hating. Y'all got your balconies, but y'all ain't got no ink, so who's winning, all right? I'm a Rockefeller at this show. <laughs> So, um, you know, she was like, oh, I want you to move in with me after a year and a half. And uh, I had nothing to live for in New York, so I was ready to go, you know? I started packing up my things in a garbage bag and I said, I'm going to Hollywood, y'all. Oh yeah, I don't have no assets, just ass. That's all I got. <laughs> so uh, she, she gassed me up like, oh, you come live with me. You know, I'll take care of you, uh, but under one condition. I was like, mm, do I gotta do anal? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> nobody gonna take care of you if you're not opening up the ass. Now. Like, that's just what it is. Ladies, you're not gonna become a wife unless you're opening up your rectum. Like, that's it. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> they won't tell you the truth. <laughs> Look at all the straight dudes. They're like, lesbians do anal? Yeah, we do. <laughs> every hole. We're using every single hole, belly buttons and everything. <laughs> <laughs> the dude over here is like, I gotta give me a lesbian. Uh, <laughs> Yes, you come live with me, but under one condition. You can't bring your cats. Oh. Do you hear the single bitches gasping for air? <laughs> and everybody else is like, and fuck those cats. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is wrong with y'all single women and these cats? I don't understand. You gotta live, girl. You gotta live. You got. Listen, you cannot make it to the top with your cats. You're just not. You gotta let them go. You really do. Look at them, they're quiet. They're judging me. They ready to tussle. They about to fight after the show. I just said I met my soulmate and I print whatever the fuck I want. You're like, what about the cats? <laughs> Get help, betterhelp.com. Girl. This is a cat crowd. This is very much a cat crowd. Y'all over here, who's doing the dogs? Y'all like dogs? Yeah. Weird, something is wrong with y'all, y'all all need help. All you animal people, get help, speak to somebody. 
I can't stand the animal community. You're aggressive. You know you're aggressive, right? Oh, the people who watch those dodo videos? The dodo videos. Yes, where they rehabilitate the animals. There's a long-winded story about a possum that got hit by a tractor trailer. He ball-headed with a weird arm now. 12 million views. All these comments. Everybody's like, oh my God, the possum. You can't call it possum. Oh, his name is Derek. Like, why are you calling it possum? Derek. Do you think the possum is black? Racist. Racist. The dodo heads are insane. They need help. I watch these videos too. I'm a dodo head. I, I, I'm, just, I'm calling out myself. The videos are insane. There was a beaver that was missing his tail. And this woman named Rachel brought in the beaver. Right? And she start handcrafting a dam in her tub. <laughs> she don't shower no more. It's the beaver's habitat. <laughs> Can't call it beaver, his name is Joe. Right? Then she got Joe taking pictures in the Christmas photos. It's insane. Then she kicked her out, kicked out her boyfriend because Joe didn't feel comfortable. It was, it's really weird. You know what I'm saying? And then this is when I knew the animal community, you gotta let them go. You gotta let them go. There was a video of a pit bull that fell off a cliff and it had no hind legs and it was blind. And Rachel was like, you still wanna live? Bring him to me. <laughs> so she takes in this pit bull and she throws a Burberry scarf over her neck to stabilize the head. <laughs> she using a squatty potty as a wheelchair. It's real arts and crafts over there. <laughs> and then she started gluing the googly eyes on top of the socks. <laughs> Electric chair, okay? You are not helping this crumpled up piece of paper dog. Like, let the dog go. <laughs> let me tell you, if I lose my legs and I can't see, push me off, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm just saying, I'm not ableist, I'm just saying my personality is not strong enough for you to save me. That's all I'm saying. I wanna sleep and I'm tired and I don't even wanna be here right now. I don't care how much Savage Fenty you put on the fucking nubs. Let me go. I'm done. <laughs> Y'all getting mad in the back? This is my story, okay? Not yours, mine, my story. See the dodo heads, they ready to fight me. They ready to pick it outside of this fucking show. So anywho, my girlfriend is not a dodo head. She's not a dodo head, thank goodness, right? She's not a dodo head, She's, but she is a dog person. She got a dog in the pandemic, which is fake. That's not real. You're not a dog person, you're just tired of talking to the walks. That's all it is. So she gets this dog, it's one of those purse dogs. I can't stand the purse dog people. It's insane, they put little vests on them. They're always shivering. They got disheveled bangs that need dry shampoo. They're putting Cartier collars on it and Gucci slides. I'm like, I will rob your fucking dog, okay? At gunpoint. Yeah, Fufu, give up the Cartier! They bring these dogs in a restaurant. I, I gotta work 17 shifts to get a filet mignon. You mashing it up and giving it to this bald-headed freaking chihuahua. I'm upset, I'm about to burn this bitch down. They come on my Delta flight. They always on my Delta flight, these dog people with the dogs and the bags that's breathing all hard. And they come sit next to me. I'm in my middle seat just struggling. They pull out their dogs. They're like, oh, they were in a fire. They shot. I hope the whole plane go down. Put the plane, kill us all. This is stupid. Y'all really ready to riot about these animals. It's insane. You want to save an animal because it makes you feel better about yourself. That's what it is. You'll take an alligator that ain't got no teeth and you will start breastfeeding it. <laughs> then put your parents in a home. How that make sense? How that make sense? Carol was in labor for 17 days and now she in a home because she can't remember your name? That's fucked up. 